Hey agents, it's LSD79 with another build video. I want to show you my Chameleon Striker Tank DPS build. It's really offensive and defensive. So yeah, let's go right into it. So for this, we're using uh, the Gunner Specialization with a minigun. Mainly because it gives you uh, like infinite ammo and uh, if you stand still you get stability. Uh, yeah, this one's really good. And you can also get armor on kill with uh, uh, Gunner. And you get the right foam. Yeah, Gunner's like a must. You can also try the Firewall. I would suggest the, the minigun, the gunner. And then for this, we're using the chameleon assault rifle with health, uh, with assault rifle damage, health damage, and damage to target out of cover. If you don't have the third attribute, I will link a video in the description how to get this. But yeah, you need to go to the crafting station to reroll this, and there you can get the damage to target out of cover. And it comes with adaptive instinct talent. Hitting 30 headshots grants 20% uh, critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. And if you do 75 uh, body shots, you get 90 weapon damage for 45 seconds. And if you do 30 leg shots, you get 150 reload speed for 45 seconds. So yeah, with this gun, if you just do a headshot, body shot or leg shot, you get a boost. Like crit chance, crit damage, weapon damage and reload speed. And yeah, that's really nice because uh, because we are a tank build. We have two million armor, and we need damage on our guns to yeah to make up for it. And yeah, this one gives you 90 weapon damage, a little bit of uh, crit damage, reload speed is also really useful. I will go over that in a second. So yeah, chameleon is really nice. Um, then as a secondary, I use the apartment SMG. I think this is a dark zone only item, but this one has SMG damage, crit chance, and damage to target out of cover. And it comes with a perfectly measured. The top half of your magazine has 20% fire rate and uh, minus 27 weapon damage. And then the bottom half of your magazine has minus 20 fire rate, but plus 32 weapon damage. So when you shoot, um, the first half of your magazine shoots fast, but with a lower damage. And then the second half will uh, shoot slower, but with a higher damage. And that's really nice with the striker. Uh, yeah, measured is really good. And I'm using a card custom with a skill tier and optimist on it. It's not really important, just use any pistol you like. But I like the card for the extra skill tier. Um, then for the gear, I'm using a striker mask with uh, armor, crit damage and crit chance. Then for the backpack, I'm using the memento backpack with weapon damage, armor and a skill tier. And I put a crit chance mod on it. And this, this one comes with a kill confirmed talent. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on that. Collecting the trophy provides both a short and a long term buff. The first of which kills with a number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. Then the, the short boost is 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor and 5 skill efficiency per trophy collected. And that lasts 10 seconds. And then for the long term buff, uh, for every trophy collected, you gain 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% uh, percent armor regeneration for 300 seconds and that ma ma that's maximum uh, at 30 stacks so yeah, where you pick up 30 trophies you get uh, for 300 seconds um, 30 weapon damage 30 skill efficiency and 3 uh, armor regeneration so yeah this one's really good you get a short and a long term bo boost but yeah this one keeps you alive you get damage and it keeps you alive and you get skill efficiency so yeah moment is like a must then for the chest piece, I'm using a, a striker battle gear. Um, if you have two pieces, you get weapon handling, three pieces uh, rate of fire, and then four pieces uh, weapon hits increase the total weapon damage by uh, 0.65%, stacking up 100 times. And then uh, one stack is lost per second between 0 and 50 stacks, and two stacks are lost per second between 15 and 100 stacks. And this one comes with a Core attributes for armor, crit damage, and crit chance. And the talent is press the advantage. Increase the max stacks uh, from the striker gamble from 100 to 200. And then you lose uh, three stacks per second between 100 and 200. So yeah, um, if you max it out, if you get 100 stacks, you get 75 weapon damage. But with this chest piece, we're going to get 130 weapon damage. So yeah, it, it like uh, doubles the damage, 130. And again, because we are a tank build, we need damage. And this, this one gives you a lot of damage. Also, um, you maybe think, oh, three stacks per second lost is a lot. But with the, with the Chameleon, you get 1,035 RPM. So you shoot really fast. 
you also get fire weight, so you can keep shooting um, with, with the gun. So Chameleon is really nice with uh, with the press advantage talent. And you don't have to worry about losing the stacks that quickly because you gain the, quacks, uh, the stacks really quickly. So yeah, that's really good. You can also try the obliterate chest piece, uh, this one. But I think uh, the striker is better. And then for the gloves, I'm using a striker glove with the same uh, stats, armor and crit damage. I'm using a striker knee pad with armor and crit chance. And I have a Picaro holster from the Brazos, which gives you skill haste uh, with an armor core, crit chance and weapon damage. And yeah, this one will give you tankiness and give you 15% weapon damage. So yeah, this one is really good for damage and tankiness. Then, because we are gunner, we can use the Banshee. Uh, the Banshee launches a forward arc of pulse energy that dis disorientates enemies caught in the wave and penetrates cover. So yeah, you can shoot this through cover and they get disoriented. And when they are disoriented, you can shoot them for free and they can't shoot you. So it's like, yeah, offensive and defensive. You can shoot them and they can't shoot you. So it's really nice. This one has uh, 15 radius and 15 effect duration. Then I have my trusty revive with two charges. Um, because we have the momentum backpack, you get one skill tier. And when you pull out your card custom, you get another skill tier. So you, so you can get three charges. Um, it's really nice if your mate of your uh, or yeah, if your mate goes down, you can just drop the hive for him and then pick it up and use it yourself later if you need it. This one has revive, uh, armor repair, range and health. So yeah, this one is always nice to keep you alive. Um, yeah, that's basically the build, Striker, Memento and Picaro Holster with Banshee and Revive and Chameleon. Yeah, it's really nice. Then let's go over the stats really quick. Adaptive Instinct, perfectly measured, Optimist and good offense. Uh, 74,000 uh, weapon damage, PvP damage, 55% crit chance. You can put another crit chance mod in, but then you go over the 60 uh, cap. So I like to just go below 60 and then put the rest in crit damage. Crit damage 81, 70 headshot damage, no armor damage, 21 health damage, range, reload, reload, accuracy and stability. This one's going to be higher because uh, we have the gunner and if you stand still for one second, you get extra weapon handling and that includes reload speed, it includes accuracy and stability. So this one's this going to be higher uh, anyway. Uh, 15 weapon handling from the watch, all damage, assault rifle damage and SMG damage, kill confirmed from the memento, press the advantage from the chest piece, striker, brazos, and yeah, we have almost 2 million armor, almost 200,000 armor on kill, health damage, the health uh, regeneration. Oh, yeah, the armor regeneration you also get a lot because you get. Uh, at maximum stacks for your momentum, you get 3% armor regen from your uh, 2 million. So yeah, you get a lot of armor regen as well. Health regen, no protection from elite, pulse resist. Yeah, these are the stats, hazard. These are the pools uh, stats. And the hive stats. Yeah. It's really good because uh, you get a lot of accuracy with the chameleon and yeah, you do a lot of damage. I will put in some gameplay now. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD789 out.
Enforcements incoming. Hostile broadcast detected.
additional hostile contacts. Rogue agent detected. Heavily armored hostile detected. The entire island is crawling with Black Tusk. Their team's taking samples in the northwest. Your best bet is to head up the west side and intercept them. There'll be no hiding the gunfire. But with a bit of luck, we'll get to see before they can move back. I have eyes on the team collecting samples. They don't look like they're in a hurry. Good news for us. Who knows what those asshats are gonna do with the samples from the Roosevelt quarantine.
curtailed. Opportunity to destroy those samples. System restored. System disrupted. System back online.
dug in tight. Got a chopper inbound, and it doesn't look friendly. Eliminated. Looks like the tusks have loaded the samples into containers for transport. Stop them, whatever it takes. Black Tusk are packing those samples into containers on the docks. Don't let them take a goddamn thing off that island.
Got another helo inbound. Looks like they mean business. Biohazard team leader? That's a stroke of luck from the goddamn blue. Samples destroyed and biohazard team neutralized. Mission accomplished.